13 AC circuits part 2 AC in the capacitor and phases capacitors in AC circuits in a DC circuit containing a capacitor the current will flow very briefly until the capacitor is fully charged in an AC circuit the plates of the capacitor get alternately charged so there is movement of charges all the time which means there is always current like this one here this is the AC supply capacitor and resistor in AC circuits like one of these in an AC circuit the voltage and current for a resistor can be related to each other by this well-known Ohm's law V equal to IR and similarly we can also have a formula like that for capacitor the capacitor voltage is equal to current in a circuit which is the same as that one times the reactance of the capacitor reactance which can be regarded as the resistance of the capacitor because the reactance also limits the current like the resistance of a resistor does reactance of a capacitor the unit of reactance is ohms just like resistance of a resistor reactance is similar to resistance they both limit the current in the circuit factors affecting reactance reactance is inversely proportional to capacitance and reactance is also inversely proportional to frequency and the reactance is given by this formula Make sure you're familiar with it or can be expressed like this because omega is equal to 2 pi f in this example that is the capacitance that is the rms voltage and that is the frequency 50 hertz and to answer these two questions you have to apply these two formulas we can treat ac circuits the same way we treat simple harmonic motion where we use a phasor diagram with a rotating phasor that way we can just analyze this circle we don't have to analyze the sine curve directly which is too hard